What? Oh, there's a little nebula somewhere over there that I'll be trying to take a picture of. First off, this is a short-term solution. I'm using the microphone on these old headphones as the microphone for the audio. But tonight, I'm gonna be going for hopefully the Wizard Nebula, which is somewhere in the north, northeastern skies. Um, I'm gonna have my telescope a little further out in the field behind my house tonight, um, which will kind of open up the northern and the northeastern skies. There's a drawback, however. the Security lights in the church field, they're super bright and they basically block out anything that's in the east or southeastern skies. So I have to be careful with that. And to sort of help uh, with reducing that light that comes in the optical tube, I'm gonna make um, an extended dew shield for the telescope tonight. I think I'm just gonna take like black construction paper and fold it around, duct tape it, maybe staple it or something. I don't know. I guess we're gonna do some arts and crafts. But if I can't, what I'm really trying to do tonight is I'll be using the new Canon that I got that's uh, Astro modified, so it's really sensitive to H alpha light. I I'm just gonna first aim it at the Wizard Nebula and take some test exposures. And if I don't see anything, I'm probably just gonna move on to something else that's bright. But what I really wanna try to do tonight is find something that's bright and somewhat easy to shoot and that doesn't require a narrow band filter because I don't have a narrow band filter. All I have is a light, a light pollution reduction filter, which does some justice, but it's nothing compared to what an Oxygen 3 or an HA filter can do. So we'll see how that turns out tonight, that nebula hunting goes. And we're just coming out of galaxy season, so tons of the nebulae are starting to rise in the northeast and eastern skies, and in the southeast as well. Um, we've got about an hour and a half until sunset or so. There are still some cumulus clouds in the sky, so I'm not too worried about those. Um, if they are the thin cirrus clouds, then I'd probably be kind of upset. But it's looking pretty good right now. I've also got some bug spray because it's about that time of year that the bugs are starting to come out, which is really annoying. I will be trying something new tonight, as always it seems. Um, in all the pictures that I've taken, Previously on my um, Stellar View uh, 110, I would always get this, and on my Nikon D3300, I'd always get this circular light pattern in the middle of my picture, and I could not figure out what, what that was. Maybe it was extraneous light coming in the tube. I couldn't figure it out. And so having just recently purchased the new um, Skywatcher 80 and gotten the new Canon 450D, I took an image the other night and it had the exact same pattern in it. So what I, I think it boils down to now is the fact that maybe I'm taking my flat frames wrong. So tonight what I'm going to try to do, instead of taking like 15 or so flat frames all the same, I'm going to take 10 to 15 flat frames that are all different brightnesses and I'm going to go through the painstaking process of stacking all the images from, the night, uh, from tonight, the dark frames, the bias frames, and then I'm just going to take one of those flat frames that are at different exposures and stack all the images with that particular flat, flat frame so that I can find the ideal spot uh, on the histogram that works best for my camera, my telescope, etc., etc. only because I've had issues with it in the past. So hopefully I can overcome that tonight. Um, so yeah, it's about time to drag all this stuff down out into the field and hope that the extension cord reaches all the way out there. I've got a 70 or 100 foot extension cord running out into the field, but I think I'm still going to need a bit of an extension.
table management really isn't my strength. Gotta plug everything in and hope that the 200 feet of collective extension cords doesn't burst into flames. And it's gotta wait until it gets dark now. Alright, so I just finished Arts and Crafts, and this is the extended dew shield that I just made. It's made out of two sheets of black construction paper, and I stapled it sort of on both sides of the paper as you can kind of see, but it seems like it's doing a good job. I hope it's going to keep a lot of the light out. Especially in this field, I'm probably gonna throw on a jacket. It is uh, 73 degrees. So I know as an Ohioan, I should be trained to handle better than this, but I'm cold. That guy. He is the bane of my existence. pointing at the North American Nebula right now, so we did have a change of plans. <clears throat> I decided to change it just because it's brighter, it's bigger, um, I think there's more contrast between the lights and the darks. But right now I'm planning on taking 45 images uh, at 4 minutes apiece, so that'll take me up to the next 3 hours. I haven't decided yet if I want to just stay inside and stay up until 3 or 4, just watching YouTube videos and doing stuff or if I should actually like take a nap or something. I don't know, I'll figure that out in the next few minutes. All right, so it is almost 3.30 in the morning. Um, I'm feeling surprisingly awake right now. <clears throat> I spent half my time on YouTube and half my time taking interrupted naps, but I think it's time to go out and finish up the light images and move on to the various flat frame images and then I'm gonna just pack everything up on the sled and come in for the night I think. Pulling my telescope stuck in the sled up the hill right now. Alright so it's just after four. Uh, we've got everything packed in. I just got off of a lengthy phone call with one of my best friends. Um, so it's, uh, everything was soaked more than ever before. I was kind of worried about the electronics mostly. Um, my laptop, water everywhere. Um, but when I came out there, there was a layer of clouds, um, but it seems like already they've passed in 30 minutes or so. Um, overall I think it was a pretty good night. Uh, I think the last two or three images were kind of destroyed by the clouds, but I guess Deep Sky Stacker will kind of be the judge of that. Um, so I think it's time to get some sleep finally.